Hi, this is Pastor Coy Sampson with Emmaus Road Church. Welcome to Psalms 365.1, where we will be praying through the book of Psalms one day at a time, asking God to shape our lives to the truth of Scripture in Christ Jesus, devoting ourselves to the heart of God as revealed to the psalmist by Holy Spirit, and praying the Holy Scriptures back to our Father in Heaven. Hello, welcome to day 63 of Psalm 365.1. Today we're looking at a scripture in Matthew 14, 14 verse 30. And this is after Jesus had uh, fed the 5,000 and he dismissed the disciples. So he went by himself to a mountainside, the Bible says to pray. And so while he's praying alone, the disciples went out on the boat to the sea. And the Bible says they were pretty far distance off of land and the boat began to be buffeted by the wind. And so Jesus came walking out to them on the water. And they were afraid and they thought it was a ghost. And Jesus said, do not be afraid. It's not a ghost. It's me. And uh, Peter says, if it's you, Lord, beckon me to come out to you. And so Jesus says, come. And so Peter gets out of the boat and he starts walking toward Jesus. And the Bible says that he saw the wind and he became afraid and he began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. And so this is, the, this is the salvation story of all of us. The Bible says that we didn't love him, but he first loved us. And no one comes to the, Jesus. No one comes to the Son unless the Father calls him. And so this is the story of all of us, that God, Jesus Christ, has called us at some point, all of us, to come. Won't you come? And the famous Billy Graham made famous made it uh a saying others are coming would you come and so jesus cries out calls out to peter come just come and so peter comes out to him and so as the spirit beckons all of us as the spirit draws all of us to come and the best prayers are the truest prayers of our heart the best prayers are the truest prayers of our spirit in our desperation, in our trials, in our tribulation, in our hurt, in our pain, in our joy, in our um, victories, in our sicknesses. In any situation, the truest prayer of our spirit that cries out to God in the simplest way is the best prayer. It's, it's the realest. It's the, the most authentic prayer that we can pray. And so Peter, in his desperation, crying out, Lord, save me. Shortest prayer, maybe one of the most powerful prayers, definitely the most powerful prayer in my life when I cry out to God, Lord, save me. So I don't know where you're at this morning, if you've ever prayed, or maybe you're in such a desperate place you don't know how to pray. The truest prayer of your heart to just cry out, Lord, save me. And if this is the first time you've ever prayed a prayer in your life, this is the prayer to pray. Lord, save me, and I promise he will answer that prayer. He will come and save you. If you cry out truly with your heart, Lord, save me, come into my life, be my Lord. You mean that prayer, Lord, save me. He will come and answer. He will meet you this, this day with that authentic prayer. So as we pray along together, a short prayer today, Pray earnestly and mean it in whatever situation you're in today. Father God, as we pray this short prayer, help it to be the most authentic and powerful and true prayer of our heart today. We need you today, Lord Jesus, to save us. Maybe save us for the first time we've cried out. Save us from our sin. Save us from the death that we experience every day. Save us from the condemnation we are already in. Save us to new life. But Father God, we've had a relationship with you and we've known you for a long time and we cry out, Lord, save us. Save us from save us from sickness. Save us from doubt. Save us from fears. Save us from uh, bills that are piling up. Save us from save us from moments of deep struggle. Save us from ourselves. Lord, save us. So as we pray along with Matthew chapter 14 and verse 30. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. 
Thank you, Jesus, that you do save. The Lord will save them from their sins, and you have saved us. When we begin to sink, Father God, the Bible says you drew us out of deep waters. So draw us to yourself today. By your power and your love, save us. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. Love one another. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.